Hi everybody, what is going on? It is your boy C4 here, and today, thanks to the response that my Madden 15 rosters in Madden 25 got on YouTube, I decided that I will be doing individual team breakdowns showing what each of these rosters actually look like, and so many of you guys are questioning, uh, you just really want it more. So what I'm going to do here is not only show you what I think their ratings will be in Madden 15, or what they should be, I want you guys in the comment section below to help me out. Uh, if you believe the rating is too high or too low, let me know and give me a reason why they should be either upgraded or downgraded, and I will do so. Um, if you, Especially if you're a fan of that team, it'd be better, because I obviously, I know a lot about football, but I can't be as in-depth as, you know, a diehard of each team. So obviously, help me make the best roster possible for you guys. So without further ado, we're going to the Chicago Bears. We'll start at quarterback. Uh, Jay Cutler, a little bit of a quarterback controversy last season with the Chicago Bears. Uh, Josh McCown came in for an injured Jay Cutler, ended up throwing for almost 2,000 yards, 13 touchdowns, one interception. He's now off to Tampa Bay, so we get Jay Cutler, who last year, 19 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. Uh, this may be the make or break year. I'm pretty sure they re-signed him this offseason to some big money, but uh, definitely... Uh, Jay Cutler still gets an 87. He's still one of the better quarterbacks in the league. I think he's a slightly better Tony Romo. I don't know if that's a compliment or not, but as a non-biased fan, he just reminds me a lot of Tony Romo with uh, his playing style. Uh, for running back, we gave Matt Forte the 95 overall. Matt Forte is an absolute animal last year. Finished with almost 2,000 yards from scrimmage and 12 touchdowns. Uh, one of the best running backs in the league. He was on my fantasy team. He's going to be an absolute stud to get in fantasy this year. I will do a uh, fantasy football video for you guys shortly. Uh, closer to the fantasy football season, but Matt Forte was an absolute animal. You also got rookie Kadeem Carey, uh, kind of was, you know, hyped up going into the combine. Everyone thought this guy was going to be a legit running back. Butchered his 40 time, but still you got some talent there, kind of stepping into the Michael Bush role. Uh, let see, we got for wide receiver, obviously, if you're a fan, you want to see what these guys were at. We gave Brandon Marshall the 96 and Alshon Jeffrey the 92 overall. Uh, Brandon Marshall is still the premier guy, I think, out of these two. I think Alshon Jeffrey is an absolute animal, but he just had one good season. You gotta, you can't, you know, you can't inflate his overall too much from one good year. Alshon Jeffrey had uh, 1,500 yards and seven touchdowns last year to Brandon Marshall's 1,300 yards and 12 touchdowns. So still give the slight nod to Brandon Marshall, but I don't think there's a better wide receiving combo in the league, uh, better than what they have here in Chicago. Uh, tight end Martellus Bennett, 87 overall after having almost 800 receiving yards and five touchdowns last year. Uh, that is definitely well above average for the league. Uh, let's see, you got Bushrod, 84, Slauson, 87, De La Puente coming from the New Orleans Saints, 89. Uh, Kyle Long had an excellent rookie year, uh, right guard. That's why we gave him an 84. Uh, even Britton coming over from the Jacksonville Jaguars, 77. Defensive end, Lamar Houston added him from the. Uh, from the Oakland Raiders, great pickup there, I think. 91 overall. Uh, right end, Jared Allen, a guy, one of my favorite players in the NFL. Uh, still can produce at a high level, even though he is getting up there in age. 85 overall for him. Uh, defensive tackle is, I think, a big area of need for the Chicago Bears. I don't think Jay Ratliff is good enough. Stephen Paye has never really done much except shatter the bench pass record, but they did address it in the draft with Will Sutton and Ego Ferguson from LSU. I think Will Sutton has a potential. I think he was a Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year or something like that. He's an absolute animal for Arizona State. Wouldn't be surprised if he can land a starting job. Gave him a 73. Uh, like I said, left outside linebacker. Some of these positions, I don't know yet what the players are going to be like. They still have to go through camp and like that, so it may be a little lacking. But if you have any more information on this, please let your boy C4 know. Middle linebacker, DJ Williams, 78. John Bostick, 70. Uh, it was kind of tough giving John Bostick a 70 as he is from Florida. Uh, he's an absolute fucking monster hitting, but he did get exposed in a couple games I watched him play last year. He still needs to get better, but I still think he will develop into a great middle linebacker. Uh, you got Lance Briggs, the ageless wonder, with a 91 overall. I mean, Lance Briggs only played nine games, had 70-some tackles, three sacks. Man, this guy's an absolute animal. As well, speaking of Aegis Wonders, Charles Tillman played half the season, still got three interceptions. I still think he's the best tackling corner in the league. Uh, Tim Jennings, too, as well. Another very underrated player. Gave him an 88. Just seems to, you know, be an absolute ball. One of the better ball hawking corners in the league uh, with four interceptions last year. Uh, as well, Kyle Fuller, the rookie. First round pick out of Virginia Tech, 74 overall. Free safety, Ryan Mundy, 76. You got Brock Ravine. I think the strong safety here is going to be an area of need for the Chicago Bears. As they got, you know, Brock Green's probably going to be number one on their depth chart, the rookie out of Minnesota. Um, kicker Robbie Gould, one of the better kickers in the league, gave him the 94. And Pat O'Donnell, the combine warrior punter out of Miami, 9, uh, 73. 
But there you have it, guys. There is the Chicago Bears. As always, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to Beast Mode TV for more of these roster breakdowns. Until next time, it is your boy C4 saying peace out.